Welcome to the Click Podcast. I'm Danny Watson, a mindset and manifestation expert and founder of The Click, a company that helps women overcome their fears and limiting beliefs to create a life and business that they love. Within this podcast, I will help you get clear on what you want, identify the blocks that are holding you back, transform your mindset and raise your vibration so that you can co-create magic with the universe. If you are looking to design a life that truly sets your soul on fire and manifests more success and abundance, then you are in the right place. Are you somebody that constantly feels like they need validation from others? So maybe you are always looking to others um, for their advice before you take action on a decision. Maybe In order for you to feel good about a decision, you have to have other people's approval. Maybe you're constantly looking for recognition and acceptance from others around, you know, a decision you've made or perhaps work that you've done. If so, then this is something that I want to dig into for this episode. It's something that comes up a lot, actually, for our students who, especially in the early stages of starting their business, will often be seeking out you know, approval, um, they'll want validation on their decisions, you know, they'll want to get the advice of others before they move forward some things. And what I always reiterate to them is that getting advice or getting guidance or acceptance or validation from others is absolutely fine, but it should never be at the cost of your own intuition. And there's certain contexts, let's say, for example, if you are looking for an expert's advice on something, something that you perhaps know nothing about and you need an expert to tell you what to do. You know, in those situations, it's obviously absolutely fine to get that expert advice. So I'm not necessarily talking about that. What I'm really talking about is decisions that really only you can make. You know, it's maybe decisions where it's only really you who can understand if that's the best decision for you. In those situations, where are you perhaps handing over your power to other people? Okay, where are you perhaps looking for that acceptance from others in order for you to feel good about decisions that you've made? Or where are you looking for the support and validation of others before you say yes to something or before you move forward with something? Okay, so I want to dive into this because essentially when we rely on the validation of others, we are handing our power over to something external to us. And what we want to be doing is actually claiming back our power. Now, where I really want to start with this is to help you identify why this is so important. Like, why is this something that you need to change? Because often in order to change or to make certain shifts within our mindsets, we need some sort of motivation behind it, okay? And so thinking about, you know, looking for that validation, ask yourself the question, where in my life have I perhaps held myself back because I've needed the approval of others? Or where have I not moved forwards on something because I didn't have the validation or the acceptance of others on a certain decision? So it may be something that you perhaps really, really wanted to do in your life and maybe other people weren't on board with it and you held yourself back because you didn't have that validation. Or maybe it was something that you wanted to do and you were perhaps second guessing yourself and sure of yourself and there wasn't somebody by your side saying, come on, you can do it, giving you that pep talk. And therefore, again, you didn't move forwards with something. So ask yourself, where in my life have I been held back because I've not had the validation I've been seeking or because I've not had the acceptance or approval that I've been looking for? It may be, let's talk about sort of approval, I guess, because that falls under sort of this idea of validation. You know, where have you not allowed yourself to perhaps fully celebrate something you've done because other people haven't celebrated it with you or, you know, somebody else haven't, hasn't approved of what you've done? So that's a good place to start. Like, what is your reasoning? What is your reasoning for wanting to let go of this need to be validated? by looking at where in your life so far has this need really held you back? 
And the next thing to think about is who would I be and how would I show up in this world if I no longer required the validation and approval of others? So this is to start getting you thinking about what a difference your, you know, what a difference it would make in your life if you let go of that need for validation. How could you show up more differently? How could you start showing up for yourself and your dreams more if you no longer required validation and approval of others? So this was actually a question that I asked myself very early in my entrepreneurial journey, um, where I realized that a lot of the decisions that I'd made through my 20s were not really being true to myself and my authentic desires. A lot of the decisions I'd made specifically around my career had been based upon duty rather than desire. You know, I'd done what I thought I should do rather than what I really wanted to do. And a lot of the time, this was down to wanting the approval of other people. You know, my parents, I wanted to make them happy. My teachers, when they were telling me to go a certain path, I wanted to, you know, please them and go go along with them. And when it came to, you know, looking for validation on my path, I had people telling me, yes, you know, this is a great path for you. So I originally went to uni, studied law, went to law school. And a lot of that was validated by the people in my life who were telling me, yeah, this is great. This is a great opportunity. It's, this, um, you know, it's a secure career path. Um, you know, it's a really great fit for you. And Because of that, I made a lot of bad decisions in my life. Um, And so if I was to show up for myself without needing that validation from others or that approval from others, the life that I've lived so far might have looked very differently. My 20s would have definitely looked very differently. I would have shown up for my desires a lot more. I probably would have given myself more space to even think about what those desires actually looked like. I think I was so hooked on this idea of wanting to be sort of approved by other people and for my path to be, you know, to their liking, that there was actually not really a lot of space for me to consider what my own passions were. Now, on a practical note here, this is where you might want to write down a list. It doesn't need to take a long time, but where you just write down, you know, if I wasn't relying on the validation or approval of others, what would, what might I be doing differently? How may I be showing up for my dreams differently? How may I come into my business differently? It's a really powerful question, actually, for our students who are training to become a coach, you know, part of growing a coaching business online is that they, you know, they put themselves out there and they, you know, share their message with the world. And a lot of the time that needing to have approval or validation from others can actually really hold them back. Um, And they get so worried about what other people will think about them or whether people will agree with their path or accept their path that they actually don't put themselves out at all. And so showing up without that need for validation or approval means showing up, you know, authentically as themselves, being unapologetic about the path they're on, about the message that they want to share, and not relying on having somebody else to say, yeah, this is great, you're doing a great job, or I get your path in order, you know, to make that happen. Now, I just want to talk about you know, why we actually have this need to be validated or accepted. Because what I don't want you to do is to think that this is something that is wrong with you, you know, to see this as a weakness, because that's not going to help the situation either. It is perhaps something you want to change, but I don't want to necessarily see you beating yourself up. So if you're somebody that constantly looks for validation or approval from others, it isn't a bad thing. Know that this is just part of how we are hardwired as humans. Back when we were very much sort of tribal in nature and living in tribes, we we had to conform to the group. You know, there was this need to conform, conform because if we were seen as separate from the group, we would often be expelled from our tribes. It could even mean death. And so we have adopted this 
you know, this mindset whereby we have this instinctive need to be validated and accepted because of, you know, how we've kind of been conditioned over time. Now, a lot of us don't live in these tribal communities anymore, but the same types of principles still exist in where we are, where we are hardwired to want to belong, to want to conform. And, you know, and that's not a bad thing in a lot of situations, you know, that conformity, that social conformity can often serve us. But there's a lot of times where it does hold us back as well. And often it's when we are going on a different path or we want to pursue different things or we have different ideas or values from others. You know, often we feel bad about or we don't even allow ourselves to pursue those different things because we don't have the validation and acceptance of others. So yeah, I just wanted to slot that in, you know, don't beat yourself up if you do, (laughs) if you are kind of noticing that this is a trait of yours. And as I said, there are things we can do to change it. Now, the next thing I want to say is that it doesn't need to be this all or nothing approach. So if you're somebody who constantly needs reassurance from other people before you decide upon something, to go from that place to all of a sudden 100% trusting yourself on every decision you make and never looking for the advice and guidance of others, you know, it, it doesn't need to be this all or nothing approach. It might just be a gradual shift to begin with. So it might just be you know, one thing a day that you commit to. So asking yourself, where can I make a decision in my life for me and only me today? You know, and just start to gradually integrate this way of being into your existence. So maybe just asking yourself first thing in the morning, like what is a decision that I can make for myself today without needing the validation and approval of others? And just to commit to making a decision just on one thing and it can be something like really really small like how can you allow yourself to trust the decisions that you make trust your own inner guidance um, without needing validation or approval so one example of this was when I first started to create content online, I'd always want to run it by people first. Like normally it would be my partner. I'd say, oh, you just, will you just read through this? Like, tell me if it's good enough. He doesn't know. <laughs> He's not, he wasn't at the time. He wasn't in this space. Um, and so why was I looking for his support and his acceptance when ultimately I probably knew better than him. And this is the thing, sometimes we hand over decisions to other people in our life thinking that or assuming that they know more, like without actually asking ourselves, like, you know, am I perhaps the better judge here (laughs) to tell, you know, whether this is a good decision or not, or whether what I've created is, is good. So applying the principle then of, you know, or asking myself the question at that moment, you know, how can I, you know, make a decision on something without the need of approval or validation? That would have been me creating content and trusting that I knew enough and it was good enough that I could put it out there without somebody to say to me, yeah, that's great. You've got it. It's great. (laughs) Um, So, This can be applied, you know, whether you're running a business or not, this can be applied to lots of different areas in your life. Like, what decision can you make today without requiring requiring that approval or validation of others? And this is the thing, like that that need for approval or that, that absence of a need for approval, should I say, is almost like a muscle. It's something that we can strengthen. You know, and we can start with just the very little decisions that we make for ourselves. You know, if you can start building up the little decisions that you make for yourselves and, you know, the decisions where you fully trust yourself, you go with your gut, you know, you do what you think is best for you without needing somebody else's approval or validation. The more you start doing that for the little decisions, the more you will increase your capacity to do that for the largest, the larger decisions as well. Now, I want to talk for a second about the absence of approval or validation from others and how it can sometimes deter us from moving forwards with things. Often when we don't get that 
recognition or that acknowledgement from somebody else that yes this is right or yes you should do this or maybe they don't agree with something that you want to do and the result is that you don't then move forward with that thing that you were perhaps considering again it's handing over your power to somebody else it's letting something external to you dictate your life but That validation, again, it's something that we often all crave because of how we've been hardwired. But how can you, even if you want that validation, how can you still be okay with your decisions even when you don't have it, even when you don't have somebody's approval on something? And this is something I've had to really um, develop through my own personal journey because there's been lots of things that I've wanted to do for my life, for my business, that perhaps haven't always come with the approval of others. Now, I'm not going to lie, when I first told my parents that I was going to quit my job (laughs) and I was going to go into my business full time, that did not necessarily come with their approval. Um, You know, they weren't angry or anything, but I could tell they were worried for me and scared that, you know, was I making the right decision? And I had to show up for my dreams in spite of their lack of approval, um, because I knew deep down that coaching was what I was meant to be doing. I knew it was the path that I was meant to be on. And I had to be okay with their absence of validation, their absence of approval. What I found allowed me to be okay with that absence of validation was to remind myself that they don't necessarily understand your path. Not everybody is going to understand why you want to live a certain way or why you want to do a certain thing or you know, why you're you know, pursuing a certain path. Not everybody's going to understand it. And so then that lack of validation or lack of approval is not necessarily from you know, because it's, you're doing the wrong thing. It's often because of their lack of understanding of what you are actually doing. So when it came to me pursuing an online business, you know, neither of my parents probably understood what it was I was really doing. (laughs) Um, You know, until very recently, I think my mom still thought I was trying to be a blogger or something. Um, And yeah, my dad definitely doesn't get it. (laughs) Um, You know, they didn't really understand the whole online business thing or how social media is used or what coaching really is. And so when I thought about their validation or approval, I thought, well, really, what would this do anyway? You know, what, what would I really gain from this, given that they probably don't really understand what I'm doing anyway? So ask yourself, is the lack of validation, you know, is is that due to a lack of understanding? If somebody's not approving of something in your life, is that perhaps because they don't fully understand it? And I want you to know that it's not your responsibility to make them understand either, okay? You shouldn't feel like you have to justify your decisions or justify why you're doing something. I mean, this is something you could do if you wanted to, but what you're going to end up doing is exerting a lot of your time and energy trying to justify your path onto somebody who perhaps may never actually get it. They may never actually understand it. And so you've got to just show up and do you in the best possible way. And if people get it, if people understand it and do validate and accept your path, great. But you've also got to be okay if they don't. And also it's worth reminding yourself that people have very busy lives and as much as you want people to be your cheerleader and to tell you, yeah, I love what you're doing, great, you're doing a great job, people are often so caught up in their own lives that they may not give you that open acknowledgement or that open validation. Um, And so this is something to bear in mind because I say this in the context of, um, I guess, really where I see often our students struggling is that when they're putting themselves out there on social media and they're perhaps not getting the validation straight away that they want. So they're looking for likes and comments and engagement. And, you know, maybe that first post doesn't really get many likes, comments and engagement. And then, you know, it makes them feel bad. Like, oh, why, why haven't I received this recognition for this amazing post that I've just written? And 
you know, the what I like to say to them here and remind them is that, you know, don't make this always about you. It might actually just be about that other person and what they're going through. And they're maybe, they may be really busy. They may be, you know, they may not have even seen your post. There's lots and lots of reasons why people don't validate you or, you know, give you acceptance or, you know, celebrate in what you're doing. And it might just be that, yeah, they've got other things on their plate. Now, speaking of celebrating what you're doing, this is where it's really important that you've got to celebrate yourself and you've got to be the one cheerleading on your own decisions. You can't just rely on other people to do that for you. So sometimes we crave validation, like we want people to say, yeah, you're doing an amazing job. And it's wonderful when we receive that and it can give us that like little hit of dopamine and it makes us feel really, really good. But again, we're then relying on something external to us to make us feel good. When we need to be taking that power for ourselves, we need to be tapping into our own resources to make ourselves feel good. And this is where you can give yourself that validation that you are seeking. And it's amazing how many people um, I connected with over time that just simply don't celebrate their wins enough, or they will just wait to celebrate the big wins. I want to invite you to start celebrating every tiny milestone, you know, every decision that you make, every little win that you experience, you need to start celebrating that more. You can't always rely on other people to do that for you. A great question to ask yourself is, you know, what have I done today that I can be proud of and how can I celebrate that? So it might be something that you end each evening with, you know, just that simple question. What is something that I am proud of today and what can I do moving forwards to celebrate that? So it might just be, it might something be something really, really small, but what you're doing is you are acknowledging yourself and you are getting approval from yourself rather than constantly seeking that from others. Now, just one more final practical tip, um, and this is for anybody that loves affirmations, who uses them as part of their routine, which is definitely something I do daily, is create an affirmation to help you develop and build that trust in yourself. So it might be something like, I trust myself to make the best decisions for me. Or I am so confident in myself that I do not require the validation of others. And just saying those statements, saying those affirmations out loud to yourself every morning and every night to just remind yourself that you are worthy and capable of making the best decisions for you. And whatever decision you make will always be the right decision. Trust yourself enough to know that you are, you know, you understand your path, you know what you need, you know what you desire, and you're able to move forwards with those desires unapologetically without constantly needing that validation and approval from others. So did this resonate with you? I'd love to know. Um, if you haven't done so yet, <laughs> I would be really, really grateful if you gave this podcast a review. It would mean the absolute world to me. And it also helps this podcast get seen by more people as well, so that I can hopefully support more people with this work. Um, but yes, it was a pleasure, as always, creating this for you today, and I very much look forward to connecting with you on the next episode. All right, bye, ladies. If you are wanting to build your own successful online coaching business, make sure to check out Freedom, Abundance and Impact, our free 10-day business and mindset course for coaches and aspiring coaches. To access, simply head to wearetheclick.com and click free course in the menu. Oh,